Hello everyone, and thanks for watching another one of my draft videos. This time I'm taking part in the book club tournament week 8. Uh, last week I got second, so this week I can try and take revenge on, on Sultan, who got first last week and beat me in the finals pretty bad. Um, this video contains the draft portion of the tournament and then also all the three matches that I played. Um, yeah, I wish you a lot of fun watching it and if you like it, please hit subscribe. Um, support the channel by liking the video or leaving a comment would be awesome. See you later. Um, this is a solid pack. Uh, my rare is pretty good, so I'm uh, I'm pre-selecting that. I think Null Professor is like an A or an A plus, so uh, I'm happy taking that here as my first card. Going into the draft with a green card is uh, yeah is something that I like. I think green is a strong color in the set. I see Symmetrist and Leyland Invocation here that might wheel. Older cards that I would like wheeling are of course Elemental Summoning. Outside of that the pack isn't great. Um, Inkcaster is probably going to wheel and I really like that in Witherbloom. So that's a card that I'm eyeing at least. But yeah, let's start off with, uh, with the Null Professor. Let's add some columns here. Let's uh, let's do this thing. Okay, so rare is still in the pack. It's an elemental expressionist, so I can imagine that is still in the pack. It's pretty tough on the mana. Uh, there's no green card to speak about, like nothing insane. Um, I could leave myself open to anything with Introduction to Prophecy, but I think I just have to... <laughs> no way that summoning wheels indeed, Flynn. Um, so I think I'll just have to take the strongest card out of the pack, even though it isn't really going to match up with my Professor. But the question is, what do I think is the strongest card? Um, Elemental Expressionist is like a B-, minus, I think. So I think Professor is a better card than that, honestly. Uh, there's also the size of Denial, but I think that's worse. It does have a green pip, but uh, I think overall it's a worse card than the Professor or the Expressionist. So I'll pick up the Professor here and I'll see where we go. Okay, another pack. Um, uh, nothing jumping out to me. Uh, I mean, I think Draught is playable, I think Lash is playable, uh, I think Pest Summoning is these. Um, so no no extremely good green or white cards here, so no obvious pick. I kind of like Pest Summoning here for a couple of reasons, not only it's my first lesson, so that's, that's good. It's good to have. Yeah, probably Sciences was taken there, Flynn, in the previous pack, that's a good point. Size of Denial is very good, but it's it's good in the sense that it's a C plus. Um, and I think Professor is, is way better than that. I think it's best summoning for me here. It goes with my Professor. It would go with my... Well, it would go with Null Professor. Um, it also goes with Combat Professor in the Silver Quill deck. So I think best summoning is the pick here. And we'll go from there. Ooh, Igneous Mastery might... Be a signal here. I think that's a, a very good card. And it is here pretty late. Um, so Igneous Mastery would, would send me in a, a Quandrix direction. So maybe I'm going to miss the Decisive Denial in that case. But yeah, I think Igneous Mastery is the, is the best card here. Um, Pilgrim is also a good card. Pilgrim would go with Professor. And then I'm heading in a white green direction. Maybe white green splash black or something. Yeah, so it's either this go into the Quandrix direction or this go in a, a white green direction. I think it's in ingenious mastery for me here. Ooh, another Combat Professor, pick 5. That is very late. That is very late. 
Yeah, I think that's the pick. I think Professor is the pick here. So look like looks like we're a bit in between more of a Quandrix or something with white. Maybe we end off uh, we end up off college like white blue, white green, something like this. But yeah, Professor definitely the the strongest card here. So picking that up. Let's see where we go from here. I got enough professors to start my own school. Okay, pick six, three red cards and a card with a red pip. Campus guide is pretty good because it, well, it allows me to splash. It looks like I'm going to be a three color deck. Implementer goes best with my professor here. So I think it's between Implementer and Campus Guide for me. I think strongest card in the pack is probably Lash. Uh, but that would, would open me up to another color. Like Lash would go good in Silver Quill with my professors. It would also go good in Witherbloom with my Null Professor. So that might be a reason to pick up the Lash here. Yeah, Letter is also fair, but I think I prefer the Guide. So I'll take the Lash though, it's the, it's the strongest card in the pack. And I think I can still pick up the strongest card in the pack for a while. Okay, that's a great way to splash Environmental Sciences. I'm taking it over every common here. It's good to register that there's a Blood Researcher, a Fanatic and a Tangle Trap here. Which are all playable with the Bloom cards. So uh, that's, that's good to note, I think. Yeah, that is true. Leather is, is, is good for slower decks. But I'll take the sciences here. I'm very happy to pick that up. It's uh, the e I think after the Gnoll Professor, this environmental sciences was the easiest pick I've had. Okay, let's see where we go from here. There's another Lash. Uh, you don't often need double Lash. I can go Lash and then my Silver Quill deck looks like double Lash, double, double Combat Professor. I can also go Draught. I think it's between those two for me, Draught and Lash. I think I'll take the Lash here. Okay, the Incaster Wheels. So that's, ne that's these. Um, there's also a Poet and a Spirit still in the pack. Teamer, Teenerd Incaster is secretly a very good card in, in um, I think in Witherbloom specifically. Yeah, Professor Team indeed. Um, so I think I'll take the Incaster here and look to be maybe Witherbloom splashing some Combat Professors or something. Like that's definitely a way I could go with this. So let's pick up the Incaster here. Witherbloom Campus is going to be nice with that. That's a, it's a sweet pickup here. And I'll happily take it over the ingredient, which would probably be my um, my second pick. Seems like we're not playing the Ingenious Mastery. I didn't I don't think we passed up on much when we took the Ingenious Mastery, so I'm happy to uh, to put that in the sideboard for now. It is a very splashable card though, so Um, nothing that I really like here. I'm getting the signal that Laurel is a bit open. Maybe I should take up Apprentice here. Just in case I end up Lorehold. Or Mardu. I'll pick up the Apprentice here. Maybe the Aegis Guardian is just a better card. Um, Pilgrim of the Angels by far the best card here. Uh, that is very late. That's that's like a B minus in my book, so I really like seeing this here, and I think it's a clear signal that white is a bit open at the table. So I'll pick up the pilgrim. Uh, nothing of importance here. I think I'll pick up the relic slot, just to give a bit of a white signal. Hmm. 
Mascot Interception is a very sweet sideboard card. I happily picked it up. I always like to have access to one. And a Twin Scroll Shaman. Okay, sure. So based on that first pack, I think that Lorehold might be the open lane at the table. Um, I don't need to go there exactly. Like I can also just use the fact that white is a bit open. I think it's summoning for me here. It's a very good uh, lesson. That does put me in three lessons, only one learn. That's why I'm eyeing the eye twitch as well as the pack, uh, the pick out of this pack. I'm pretty high on eye twitch, higher than most people probably, but I'm even higher on inkling summoning. So I think it's inkling summoning for me here. And it's pretty likely that there's something to go into wheel that I like. Like the Pledge Mage might wheel. Like there's Mage Jewel, Snakeskin Veil, Pledge Mage, Eye Twitch. All cards that I like. I'll go for the summoning. Over the Eye Twitch. So please note that Eye Twitch would be my second pick here. Ooh, Leon and Light Scribe. Yes, sir. Yes, sirs and madams. That's a direction I like to go in. That's a very sweet. Uh a Quill Apprentice that might wheel. There's a best summoning. There's a ley line that I would like, cultivate. But I'll take the light scribe. It's by far the best card here. It's a very strong card in general. So currently, I think my base is Silver Quill. So let's see where we go from there. Everybody that, that joined, thank you for watching. It's not uh, really my regular time slot to stream. So I appreciate you being here. If you're, uh, if you're new to the stream, happy to have you here. I'm uh, mostly playing best of three. As I am now, this time in little tournament form with other streamers. I would appreciate you following me or checking out my YouTube channel. Hey Mercurio, welcome, welcome. We're playing the book club tournament again. Uh, interesting pack, lots of cards that are probably making my deck. I'm really uh, a Plump fan. Plump goes nice with Light Scribe. Um, so I'm, I'm eyeing Plump here. I think out of the cards in this pack, I'm going to miss Plump the most if I don't pick it up. So that's why I uh, why I like to take it here. Hey Marnik, thank you. And uh, if you're going to bed, sleep well. I uh, appreciate you stopping by. So yeah, let's take Plump. And see what else comes my way. Plump, very good with pests. Very good with pest summoning specifically. Ooh, with the bloom pledge mage is very good. There's a third professor, third combat professor here. So that would be my fourth professor basically. Yeah, I think that's the pick. Uh, I think combat professor is the pick over pledge mage. My four drop slot is, uh, is, is filling up here, but with very high quality cards basically. So I'm happy to, uh, to pick that up here. But I need to I need to be aware that my four drop slot is filling up. But well, picking a five drop over a four drop is really solving the issue, right? Like if the option was a two drop against a four drop, then then I might lean towards the two drop. But for now, I'm happy to pick up uh, my third combat professor here. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Queenie disconnected. I played Queenie previous week. She was a, she were a very nice opponent. I really, uh, really enjoyed playing them. So who knows? Maybe we face them again this week. Would be fun. Would be fun. Yeah. So with the Bloom Pledge Mage, I think it's like a C plus, maybe even a B minus. And I have the professor at, at B level. 
the combat professor, so that's why I picked it over the with the bloom pledge mage there. And I think by now I'm I would really like to be heavy white. The pilgrim is pretty good if I'm heavy white. So picking up another white card there, definitely yeah, uh, on plan I would say. Queenie is letting us know over the Discord that they disconnected and it won't let them pick their card. So it's unfortunate for Queenie. Let's hope it works out. Please note that there's an elemental summoning still in this pack. Like from this side, blue seems open quite a bit. It's a pretty late Kelpie guide. Um, interesting pack. I think I have uh, two. Okay, it worked for Queenie, so they're back. That's good. Um, pass summoning and fumes are both great lessons. The only problem is I currently have one learn card. So that's why I'm leaning towards the Pilgrim here, which is just a, a solid card. And I think that I like that better. I think uh, Pilgrims are also pretty good with Plum, especially late game. You can uh, use them as sack fodder to draw more cards. Pest Summoning is also good with Plum. But I already have one. And as I said, I'm missing the learn, so Pilgrim of Ages it is for now. Let's see where we go from there. I haven't seen a single um, study break or um, like cram session. What's the one that puts a counter on something? I haven't seen any of those, which is interesting. Uh, here I think it's between Pledge Mage and Overgrown Arch for me. Maybe also Campus Guide is Snakeskin Veil. A lot of cards that I like here. Um, but I think I'll go Overgrown Arch. Uh, which makes me go three colors. But I think I was planning on playing green anyways. Snakeskin Veil is nice with Light Scribe though. But uh, I think Overgrown Arch is just too strong to pass up on. Oh, this is interesting. Hey, There's a Radiant Scroll Wielder still in the pack. Which would put me into Mardu. So that would probably make me skip on Arch and Professor. And it would put me into Mardu. There's an alternative though in the form of the Anatomy. So by picking up Anatomy I have a very solid lesson board. And I need a, a bit more learn. I think I'm on the Anatomy. It, it goes pretty nicely with the Ink Caster. I'm passing up on a great scroll wielder, but I think anatomy is as good as a card. Wow, another anatomy and another professor. Uh, I guess we jam another professor here. We, uh, we almost filled up our university here. Our curve is looking pretty awkward, so we have to fix that in pack 3. But uh, yeah, professor and anatomy, very strong cards to be still in the pack. Pick 8. And happily picking up my fourth combat professor here. Okay, I don't think the pick is ever devastating mastery. I don't think the game plan is ever to get to 6 mana. Although this card is pretty playable given the fact that I have double pilgrim. What are my alternatives? Like Essence infusion maybe? Spiteful squad? No. I think it's just devastating mastery. I think if I if I draw that card, I think my game plan just changes and I become the white uh, control deck basically. I think I'll take the pass summoning here. My second pick would probably be pupil. So priorities for pack three, two drops. And learn spells, basically. Here I have 
ingredients, guardian or duress to pick between. Um, I'm leaning ingredient is pretty good with uh, the light scribe. Coming a 2 2 menace is pretty good. It's good with the professor being a 2 1 menace. Go pick up ingredient as an early creature. Mm, nothing here really. Probably Bayou Grove or something, but I hope to not play it. Seems like my daughter just woke up. Ooh, these are three very good black cards. I think it's Necrotic Fumes for me here. But I wouldn't mind signing blood. It's just a bit hard to cast. Here I'll take the Arrogant Poet. It's not really on plan, but I'll take it. So far it seems like I'm picking lessons a bit higher than most of the other drafters at the table. So premium cards would be Hunt for Specimens. Because it's not only a 2-drop, it also burns. Uh, professor, the White Professor, would be a really great pickup, the 2-drop. Again, it's a 2-drop that learns. So I think those are cards that I really would like to see. A Killian would be nice. A Humiliate is sweet. Humiliate is good. It's good with Light Scribe. It's a good card in general. I think my green is going to be my splash. It's a bit awkward that Professor is double green, but I think I'll still splash, depending on how good of a Silver Quill pack this is. I think I prefer Humiliate over Mage Jewel, over Summoning, over Pilgrim, over Fnatic. Um. So yeah, let's pick up the Humiliate here. And let's see where this goes. Strong pack with Ruta and Crackle. Some, someone in Prismari is going to have a field day with this pack. I think I'll have a look at my daughter quickly. So I'm going to pick up the next card pretty quickly. Wow, what a pack. It's between Rice and Dramatic Finale. I think it's just Dramatic Finale. That card is bonkers. Yeah, okay, I'll be right back. I'm back. Ooh, I Twitch is very sweet here. Did I miss any other pick after Dramatic Finale? I don't think so, right? Pick one, Humiliate. Pick two, Dramatic Finale. And now pick three, the option between I Twitch, Shield Mage, Duress, Campus Guide. But I think this is a clear I Twitch for me. I was, uh, was hoping to get one earlier, but uh, I guess this is the time. And I might cut green entirely, depending on how the rest of the draft goes. 
Um, Aulin Shield Mage is nice. It's good to have access to an Annihilation, but I'm pretty less than heavy already. Which is what makes me lean Aulin Shield Mage here. If I want to do the white control thing, Expel might be good. Like if I really want to commit to being a slow deck. I can see Expel being the pick. But I'm I don't think that's a solid plan. I think mastery is more of a press button in case of emergency card than an actual plan of my deck. So I'll put the Owlin Shield Mage in. Let's see where we go from here. Brackestrudge, the campus. I think having an extra campus would be really nice. This one white black. Trudge is a good card, but I don't have that much la um, life gain synergy. Basically the only thing that's gaining life right now is... Inkcaster and Arch, and I'm not even sure I'm playing Arch. Uh, that's tough. It is very good with fine Finale though. If I can have it die and then... I think it's between Trudge... Let's see, I have 27 cards in deck. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 of them are either land, so I need 3 more playables. Let's, let's go for the Trudge. I already have a campus, so I'm already scrying. Ooh, Fnatic. I don't think it's ever 3rd Lash of Malice, so I think it's Fnatic or Pledge Mage. And given my very low amount of twos. I think this is Fnatic. Uh, the life gain is these with the trudge. But yeah, I think this is a, a clear Fnatic to me. The deck is a bit awkward. I would hope to not play ingredients. Let's put those in the sideboard. So currently I have 22 cards. Um, could pick up another lesson here. But I don't think that's ever the pick. I don't like Demigod Woe Eater in this deck. So I am eyeing Professor's Warning. But mostly as a sideboard card. I don't really have things I want to protect here. Outside of Leon in Light Scribe, basically. Um, it's okay to have the combat trick available, but it's not great. I don't think I'm ever learning for Spirit Summoning, though, so I think that would be a wasted pick as well. Let's pick up the warning. Maybe it makes the deck. We'll see. Ooh, Luminacer or Stone Rise Spirit? I guess that's a Stone Rise Spirit for me. Another mediocre two that can definitely make the deck. I'm not spell heavy enough to make Luminancer good, so I go with the uh, with the Stone Rise Spirit here. So I have um, a set of very mediocre twos here with the Spirit, the Poet, and the Fanatic, and then I have a very good two in Light Scribe. It is doing things, yes, for sure, Mercurio. It's uh, it's not nothing. We pick up another Mediocre 2. We'll take that as well. So now the question becomes, are we playing green? And that, that depends on the wheel a bit. If we find two more playable cards, I might skip on green altogether. And just go pure Silver Quill. But I think with my current set of cards, I'm still splashing green. Ooh, we get a Rise of Exodus. Okay, that is strange. Rise of Exodus and Inkling Summoning should not be here. And Silver Quill has not felt open enough for it to be reasonable for those cards to still be here. So that, that surprises me a bit, honestly. Uh, it's a clear rise for me here, of course. That card is insane. Card is insane. Um... Okay, I think this is Stone Rise Spirit, and then we just cut the green. And I will still play the campus.
Yeah, so we have a mediocre set of twos, but we have quite some twos, which is nice. Yeah, I think we, we cut the green. So we're cutting our first pick, Gnoll Professor. Green just wasn't open enough. I uh, don't think it's ever Dusk Mage, but it's the most playable card out of these ones. Uh, I can hate out Symmetry Sage. Yeah, let's hate out Symmetry Sage. It's a flying blocker. Let's hate out Negate. That seems like a card that is good against our Finale. Remember, it's impot play, so every card that we've seen, we're going to we're going to face basically. So we are going to face a Crackle with power at some point in time. I think that's the strongest card that we passed up on. Okay, it's. Arena is bugging a bit, but it seems we're facing each other. Let's see if I selected the right deck. My opening hand will probably tell me that. Yeah, it seems like I'm playing the correct deck. Okay, cool. Well, I wish you all the best, uh, Moby. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Playing our first match. Opening's hand is not great, but I do have two playable spells, and I'm... How big are the odds of me drawing a white source by turn 3? Not huge. Seems like untapped is not active. Is that the case? The app is running though. Should be working. Yeah, there we go. So a bit of a sketchy keep, but we'll go with it. 21% uh, to draw a white source. If we find one white source, we find two, right? We do have the Pilgrim. Uh, Duress will probably get the Lash of Malice. And now my opponent is aware that I'm a bit screwed. Uh, but as soon as my opponent plays a creature, I'm going to leave my eye twitch back. Because that allows me to environmental sciences. Ah, there's the white source, perfectly in time. So, you know what? I'll probably just attack first. Then play out the Pilgrim. Find my second white source and also Fort Land. And uh, go from here. So this is sweet, right? Because we can now go Professor into Professor into Owling Shield Mage. And we can really pressure our opponent here. Promising Dusk Mage, not a great card. I hope opponent attacks here and gives it flying. Yes, please. Okay, opponent is not doing that. Then I'll happily block here. And I'll play out the professor. And I'll attack for two with the eye twitch. Okay, so I have two flyers on board. I'm winning this race. Uh, there's no reason for me to block here. Or offer any traits. Um, basically, I'm I'm just forcing Nando to have uh, responses here to my flyers, either removal spells or flyers of the moon. There's flyers of their own. Okay, swords deals with the professor. That works. Sure. Uh, I think I'll take two here. my fifth land so now I have the option to go either professor or shield mage I think I'll go shield mage just to be mana efficient so again I'm never offering uh, I'm never blocking the dusk mage here I don't want to turn their tricks into removal spells basically let them answer my flyers I'll just uh, attack their life total for as long as I can. I mean, I have two more flyers coming, so what are they going to do? Okay, that hurts. Uh, I'll take it. it. Makes the race closer, but I don't think it's changing a lot. So here I'll go to combat.
And now I have four flyers and basically next turn I have lethal in the air because I have four, five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, I have nine. That's close to lethal, but not lethal. I probably should have counted that before making the attack. Maybe that was a reason to leave the eye twitch back. Because then I can block the Dusk Mage, get the anatomy and have lethal that way. Opponent threatening to deal me eight here. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, totally fine with that. So here I am attacking. Let's see, what do I want to leave back? I think I prefer to leave the eye twitch back. Question is, do I leave the eye twitch back plus something else? Yeah, that might be good. That might be good. So I think I'll, I'll leave the shield mage back as well. Because then I always have a blocker, basically. Yes, let's do that. So I'll leave the eye twitch back. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So now the eye twitch can jump one of the creatures, preventing them from needling me. So could the shield mage. If they want to remove the shield mage, they need to take three. I don't think there's an out for them here. I think I won this game. Ooh, blood in the sky is good though. X is four. Eich. Wow, that's like the best card that they could have right now. That's insane. Sure, that resolves. Oh, but they come in tapped. Why are they showing it to me then? There's no reason to show that to me, right? They probably want to show that they needed one more turn, basically. And I get that they need one more turn. But I'm not giving that to them. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's just get the win. Get it over with, basically. Okay, so I've seen Blot in the Sky. That is a very good card. I also saw Double Elocution and Duress, which are not so good cards. So this opponent also ended up in Silver Quill. Not sure where they were sitting at the table. Uh, some people left, so it's not clear where they were sitting at the table anymore. But it's unfortunate that they picked up the Blood in the Sky. My deck would have liked a Blood in the Sky. So what can I do against that? I don't think I can do a lot against Blood in the Sky. Just by nature of it being a very good card. So I think I shouldn't play around that or anything. So I think it's no sideboarding for me and I'll just play it like this. I don't really have anything to bring in. The only scary thing I've seen was Blood in the Sky basically. And removal is very good against opponents. Because they had double, uh, double 4 mana target a creature to buff its spell. Okay, that's annoying. Taking my Lash again. I mean, the res is a good card if you can cast it on turn 1 twice. Not sure if previous game it was turn 1 or later in the game, but it was pretty early. Uh, humiliate not great right now, so I'll play out the Stone and Rice Spirit first. And then I'll Humiliate after. Okay, they have a Pilgrim of their own. And they probably attack with the ingredients, yes. I find a Pilgrim of my own as well. So now the question becomes, do I want to humiliate already? I think I can Pilgrim first.
That's interesting. I don't think there are many scary four drops. Well, Professor would be pretty scary, right? If they have one. That would be annoying, at least. You know what? I don't have a turn 4 and I'm not under any pressure right now. I think I'll just have a look at their hand and go from there basically. Okay, so the various protection, Spectre, I think it's Spectre here that is the best card in their hand. And it's also pretty good against my deck. So now the question is, am I the aggressor or am I the defensive party here? I could leave Stonerise Spirit back and back block the Pilgrim. But I'm basically dealing 2 for 2. I think I'd rather just get in for 2. That's interesting to me. Basically I'm trading 2 damage for 2 damage. When I attack. Their hand does not look aggressive, though. You know what? I'll no attack. I'll, I'll leave back the blocker for the Pilgrim. There is, of course, the risk that they've drawn the, the buff spell, but apparently they didn't. Why are they hovering my spirit? You only have one white mana up. Come on. Ooh, they're, s they're giving me the Pilgrim here. Oh, their draw was a Swords to Plowshares. That was unfortunate, let's say. I'll play out the Professor and then the Shield Mage. Professor is a nice blocker. I'm not going to assume they picked up another trick. I'm in defensive mode here right now. Wow. That was that was like their best draw probably. Yeah, that was probably their best draw. Sure, I'll take the damage. Not going to trade a pilgrim with a combat professor. Uh, attack them for three. And I'll play out the shield mage. Okay, so they, they drew a land. That's good for us. If their ingredient attacks, I don't think I'm blocking. I think I'll just take three here. I'll just take three. It's a bit sketchy, but I think what they want is this to die, right? If this can trade for my shield mage and they can also draw a card of that, that's like best case scenario for them. I think I'll play another combat professor and now I can attack with both and leave both back. Right, so I can put one of the triggers on the shield mage, the other trigger on the professor. And I can deal seven while leaving back three blockers. That is pretty strong. So now it depends on their draw a bit. Like seven, eight, nine. I don't have lethal next turn, which is unfortunate. Don't have lethal next turn. Is there a reason to play out the land here? Let's see. Untapped overlay is bugging a bit, it seems. It's unfortunate. I'll make a, a screenshot of the deck. Oh wait, I have the deck here, of course. Is there a case for me to play out the land there? I don't think so. It was a black source. I don't really need more black sources. Ooh, maybe if I draw a 4-drop, then it's bad that I didn't play this out. Let's see what they do. 
I can easily take three one more time. Hit me baby one more time. So put myself down to three. Okay, I'll play out the pilgrim. Get the white. Play out the white. Let me see. I think I'm attacking with the shield mage and one of the professors. I don't have lethal here. So I'd rather just hit them for seven and leave four blockers back. That way I can block every creature they have. They have the option to to ferry here to save seven life. But they can do that next turn as well, right? It, this isn't an attack for lethal, so there's no real case for using protection there. Okay, I think I think this is getting close to being a win. Opponent sending in the troops. Um So I'll block like this. I'll lose one professor in this exchange. Opponent is losing three creatures. Opponent needs to leave the fairy's protection mana open. So can only do the, the draw thing, which will deal one damage. I should have played out the land earlier, by the way. I'm Getting punished for that a bit. So opponent down to two. Which means I only need to attack with one creature here. Ooh, but Professor allows me to play with, to, to attack with two creatures. So that plays around a possible combat trick. So I'll attack with both. Opponent is using the various protection here. I can definitely still lose this game, but it's going to be tough to lose this one. Yeah, so no damage. Uh, I guess this is GG. Yep. Okay. Good game, Nando. I, uh, I liked seeing your blood in the sky, but I think eventually my deck was just a bit better. Think, think. Okay, good games. And we win the first match. Pretty rapidly. Let's fill in the results. So we win 2 0 or earlier. Okay, Killian versus Killian. I don't have a Killian in my deck. I would be very surprised if Claus is playing Silver Quill as well. <laughs> I would be, I would be shocked if that's the case. Um, play first. This is a sick hand. We'll keep those. I probably won't play out Light Scribe for quite some time. I'd rather open with the Fanatic and the Poet. Then go from there. We do have a dramatic finale on 4. Which is insanely strong. Ooh, and I can even play out two creatures right now. That is sick. I am very sorry, Clausy, but this is this is a curve that is very hard to beat. This is a very hard to beat curve. Uh, oh, oh, no three drop, or is this a counter spell? What are we doing, your opponents? Sure. Okay, so I should play it. Ooh, I was going to say I should have played out the finale, but apparently not. Play out my finale, no worries. Not sure why opponent decided to flash in the inkling there. Okay. This is an instant speed spell, right? 
So I think I attack with the Fnatic. I think I'll attack with all three. See how opponent blocks. Then go from there. So I'm hoping the opponent puts the Karok in front of the Poet. Yes. And then the Inkling in front of the... Okay, so now I need to... I need to sack one creature. The question is, what do I want to sack? I think I'll sack the Eye Twitch. Not sure why I'm getting good game here, but uh, if you want to surrender, that's totally reasonable. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, get wrecked, I guess. Uh, that was an insane, insane opener. That was just sick. And uh, the, this draw here was very insane. The plump draw. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Opponent playing Salt Eye, it seems. Duke, Garrock are the cards that I've seen. I don't have seen any removal spells so far. I can imagine that my opponent has removal spells, so I could go Fessor's Warning for that reason, but I don't know what to cut. Could cut Mastery and try to be the aggressor, but I'm fine having the backup plan of being the control deck. Okay, 1-0. That was a sick game. <laughs> the Shane concede was hilarious. Like... <laughs> because what was going to happen was that my double plump trigger... My double plump would trigger my Leonin twice. So my 2-2 two -two was going to be a 4-4, four -four, killing the Karok my leech fanatic was going to deal four and i would be drawing two cards and learning plus getting the the, the inkling off of that so yeah that was a, a tough exchange for opponents Ooh, another cayenne that's the second one i've seen this draft i think we're on pilgrim of the ages here so we are probably um so far we're a bit behind. I would prefer not to trade the Pilgrim away here, so I think I'm taking four here. Yeah, especially with the Karok. Opponent not attacking here is probably a mistake. Drawing the Mastery is also very nice, because I know that I can draw that in two turns. Opponent nicing me. <laughs> uh, not sure if salty. Um. Let's see what's happening here. What are we doing? Attack with the Karok. Sure, we'll take three. No worries. So I think I'm going to play the Devastating Mastery on six, which make me play the Eye Twitch right now. Question is, do I go for the Professor? Like, is there any reason to go for the Professor? I think there is not. Okay, opponent. Getting the land there with Cayenne, that's sweet. Okay, opponent doing some ramping. I haven't seen a counterspell yet, but I think it's pretty likely that opponent is running a counterspell in this type of deck. It's going to be scary to run out the mastery. Let's hope my opponent taps out for a large fractal or something. Holdering Karok. I think I'll go for no blocks here. Just take the three. Let's see what opponent does. I am under a lot of pressure. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going for the devastating mastery here. 
Uh, I can attack with the eye twitch, probably. Yeah, let's attack with the eye twitch. Then... Oh no, I'm destroying all non-land permanents. I just noticed that, that that was the text. I hope I still get the finale triggers. Oh, an opponent is getting priority. Probably due to Cayenne, though. Opponent hovering over the board. Let's see. Yes, I do get the triggers. That is good. I only won, though. That gets flunked. It's fine. What do I get here? Get a... Clink summoning? Let's go. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. You may search your library. So what happened? Why did I only get one trigger? Oh, it's one or more. Yes. Okay. Thank you, game. Apparently I needed that reminder. So I'll go Fanatic into Professor. Best a turn. Opponent using the flunk on one of my flyers there was interesting. Opponent good gaming me preemptively again. Which I'm fine with, don't get me wrong. Not sure what I'm playing around here. Like, not tapping both, maybe making their Burium book expensive. I think I'll run out the Light Scribe here. Nah, there's no need. I don't want to run into their board wipe. That's a good card. That's a very good card. Yeah, sure. Uh, I think I'll. Plum, sacrifice one, sacrifice the leech fanatic, draw two cards, seems good. And Klaus, sawn off, GG. Hey man, your deck is broken. <laughs> Hey man, I'm sorry. That was uh... no, it's good. I just w I was not expecting a board wipe because your deck is like aggro. So I was like, okay, you know, yeah, yeah. And then you kill everything, and I'm like, what the? F there we go. There we go, people. Finals again. Let's see if we can get them. So last week I tilted a bit against Sultan. Game one, uh, Sultan played Sparring Regimen on turn three, making me lose the first game very quickly. Hey, a Papa Taco, welcome, welcome. So let's see if I can do better now. I think this is a fine hand. I have Light Scribe on two, hopefully Pilgrim on three, and then Final on four. Uh, so that that's posing a lot of answers, uh, questions that that Sultan needs to answer. So yeah, I'll um, snap keeping this. Hey, a Papa Taco, I really appreciate the follow. I really appreciate you hopping into the channel for a sec. I noticed that you were watching Sultan earlier. Yeah, thank you. Don't don't give away my secret tag of dramatic finale here. Don't be that guy. Keep it a secret for for Sultan for now. <laughs> I would never snitch. <laughs> of course you wouldn't. Oh, it was more. It was more a joke than uh, than a serious note, honestly. Okay, so we. It seems like we're going light scribe into ages into finale. So that's a, a very good curve, I would say. Let's see how opponent is going to deal with that. We even get our black source. Yes, RJ, I better win. Ooh, no attacking with the Implementer there is interesting. I would have jammed that attack with the Implementer there. I mean, there's no way I'm I'm trading with the Light Scribe, right? But that's that's probably too damage missed. 
Let me see. Mage Jewel would suck. Yeah, I got second place last week. I, I tilted off in the finals a bit. Mage Jewel would suck here, suck here, but I would take it. Okay, opponent not attacking. Let's see. Four mana. Maybe I should not run out the finale to not run into a counter spell. Maybe I should just play Combat Professor. If I can resolve Combat Professor, I can just attack with the Pilgrim of the Ages. Seems good. I mean, getting my finale countered here would kind of suck. But again, it wouldn't be the end of the world, right? Then next turn I just go Professor into Lash. Maybe I should just run it out. Uh, should I run it out? Yeah, mine too, RJ, but getting this countered would, would feel pretty bad, right? Uh, but I think I can overcome it. My next turn would be Professor Malice, probably. And then I can go Shield Mage after, so I think that's still a very decent curve. Okay, looks like we're, uh, we're, we're, we're good here. So we're sending in the Pilgrim for two. Uh, opponent is never blocking here. Seems like a Eureka moment indeed, RJ. Ay ay ay, final stress. It always gets to me. Okay, subtraction, that's reasonable. That means we're still not blocking. Okay. Let's see. Is Sultan running red, maybe? Could be. Environmental sciences for red. Yeah. I think the Ruta that we saw earlier might have ended up in Sultan's deck. Yeah, there it is. Oops, there it is. Where do we go from here? Yeah, that is true, RJ. Maybe I'm I'm worrying about it a bit too much. I think I'll go Combat Professor. Put it on the Pilgrim. Attack with both. Sure. Uh, let me see. How do I do this? If I lash now, then it'll kill my light scribe. So that is never good. Maybe I lash after. Yeah, you're right. Get rid of the Ruta. This seems a hard game to get back from for Sultan. Yes, the Ruta was definitely the problem there. I'm not afraid of the Amplomancer. Especially if Sultan is not attacking with it or not planning to attack with it. I'm totally fine uh, leaving those on the board. Sultan hovering over Light Scribe and Finale, pointing out the obvious threats on the board, I guess. Okay, Biometician. That gives Sultan some blockers. Uh, guess we'll put it on um, Aegis and we'll attack with the Professor and the Aegis. Threatening to deal 5. Look at Taco with the punts, lol. <laughs> Say what now? <laughs> Let's see, what would be problematic here? There's not a lot that would be a problem here, honestly. Like, Burian Books is by far Sultan's best card, because it's it gets rid of a creature on the board without triggering Finale. Kelpie Guide, sure. Sweet. Let's get the last card out of Sultan's hand. Oh, that's awesome. 
good games, I guess. Uh, I can make this a 4-4, but I don't think there's any value in that. I'd rather put it on the shield mage. Attack for 12, offer the pilgrim for the trades. Opponent jumping the pilgrim, that is fine. I don't think there are many outs here, but uh, let's see. I pun at my son puns, he's four. <laughs> my wife <laughs> may go pun with, oh that is awesome. Um. I think this is GG, right? Yeah, good game. Okay, we got the first game. Let's see what's up next. Um, most scary card I've seen is Ruta. I think it's good to know that Arcane Subscription is here. Double Kelpie Guide. My Lash is pretty good against that. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. I don't think I have anything I want to board in. Just keep it like this, run it back. Did we start out on the play? I don't think we did, right? I think Sultan was on the play that game. Dropping the Amplomancer before I drop my uh, my Leon in. And then not deciding to attack into it, which was interesting. If I remember correctly, last week Sultan was also teamer. I remember playing a Sultai deck uh, last week in the book club. Uh, Witherbloom base, splashing blue, if I remember correctly. And Sultan was also on Teamer then. It seems like Sultan is on Teamer again. Looks to be the favorite archetype of our friend. So it's close to 3 a.m. here, and I would really appreciate getting three more hours of sleep after this before my alarm goes at six. I did go to bed early though, so I, I have like half a night in me already. Uh, yeah, I have to go to work tomorrow morning so it's 3 a.m. in the morning here um, I'm in Europe so it's in the middle of the night in the middle of the night that sounded interesting uh, so after this I'll go to bed for three more hours or so and then uh, go to work I kind of like playing out the spirit here because putting a counter on the spirit uh, makes it uh, able to block the amplomancer that is why I prefer playing out spirit over poets. So far my hand looks pretty sick. I can use a land, like I would definitely appreciate a black source. Um, a white source would also be fine, but with a black source I can go eye twitch humiliate. With a white source I'll probably go spirit eye twitch. Let's see what opponent is offering. Is this a mage jewel? Nope, Kelpie Guides. Aye, that's not a source. Uh, I think I'll humiliate and leave back the spirit and play a bit, bit of defense here. I don't want to get overrun immediately, I think. Let's humiliate first. See what opponent is working with. Wormhole Serpent and Biomethematician. I think I take away Biomethematician here. That means opponent is probably skipping turn four. And then Wormhole Serpent is a problem I can deal with later. So that means I also don't attack. Oh, but opponent can play out the worm, right? With the Kelpie. Oh, that's my mistake. I should have probably got the worm then. Yeah, that's my mistake. I missed that for a sec. Okay, but Sultan is not going for it. That is nice. That is nice. Maybe Sultan also missed it or 
decided against it. Could be both. I would really like to draw a land here. That would allow me to play out Pilgrim. And then I can start emptying my hand. If I draw another spell here, I think I'll run out Poet. Just as a defensive measure. Putting Arcane Subtraction in the bin there is interesting. Okay, now I attack. Or two because I'm happy to trade off the pilgrim. So I'll get in the two damage and I'll play out the pilgrim, find my second white. Okay, so so far so good. I think I can start being a bit more aggressive here. If the game is about racing the the worm, I should start getting in damage. This is interesting. I can force opponent to pump here. That would mean opponent skips their entire turn. At the cost of a pilgrim. I think I want this. I mean I have enough I have enough gas in hand. I think I want to make opponent skip their turn. Yeah, so this is basically skip your turn. And since I'm ahead on cards, I kind of like this. I think it's Professor for me here. Yeah, sort of Time Warp indeed. So we're off to the races here. Um, I'm pressuring my opponent in the air. Which makes the Wormhole Serpent a lot less good, right? Because that's not going to... Um, that's not going to make Sultan win the race. I'm not blocking anyway, so the, the whole ability of the Serpent is not very useful here. Learning is pretty good here. Let's see what we're getting. Maybe Sciences for a black. So far no black mana. Maybe Sultan wants to find a black mana, I'm not sure. Nope, we're getting Anatomy. Ooh, that's spicy. So we're making this a 4-4 four, four Vigilance then. Uh, yes, I'll block that. 5 mana and that's an 8-8, eight, eight, so I'm happy to block that. Okay, that's a nice draw. I think we'll go Eye Twitch Professor again. So we'll attack for 3 again. Play out the Eye Twitch and it seems like we have this game under control. A lot can happen still, the opponent is only on 12. 4, 5, 6, 7 lands right now. So, Kelpie is close to being able to tap one of our creatures. Okay, opponent tapped out. Unfortunately, I can't do Rise of Extra stuff. I think I'm just attacking with everything here. The question is, what do I leave back? Maybe I'll leave the Eye Twitch back? To jump so that I can learn. I'm not sure if that's correct though. Oh no, I'll leave the spirit back. Yeah, that's it. I'll leave the spirit back. So I'm dealing six here, bringing opponent down to six, L leaving my two three spirit back. And I'll run out everything that I have. And I think opponent's only out is a board wipe here, but I wouldn't I don't know how that what it would look like. Heel turn drake is a fine blocker. Another Kelpie guide. No eight land though, so I guess this game is over. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is over, right? Let's see, I have one, two, three, four flying attackers. I think with Professor this is lethal. If I divide the, the triggers correctly. So I should put a trigger here. I should put a trigger here. 
I think I was lethal anyway with the poet, but Sultan, good gaming me, so probably sees what's going on. Yay, we got the win. Good game, Sultan. Good game. Happy to get some revenge.